my, my heart is left in North Yorkshire. I spent you know, five years there, all across Burlington, Scarborough, Whit uh, Whitby, Ripon. I, I know that area very well, and it's, uh, it's good yeah, to have good. you on. And uh, how have you been? Not, not, as, not at all good. I have an amusing story to share about Yorkshire um, that I actually caught on the BBC News this morning. And uh, it turns out that um, our uh, big Yorkshire water company have, have just launched a promotional video um, about Yorkshire. Um, but it has been noticed that the, the images of the Yorkshire Fells are actually the Malvern Hills, uh, that um, the um, car driven by a family is a left-hand drive, and apparently that was filmed in Ukraine. <laughs> and the bar that is supposed to be a Yorkshire bar is, in fact, uh, a bar in uh, Russia uh, near the Black Sea. So, um, oh my God. interesting tur tourist approach by your Yeah, Twitter absolutely. For, uh, it's happened yeah. a lot of times with big companies. They, they just seem to be so tone deaf. And, uh, you know, there was a couple of years ago where they had they had a picture of what was supposed to be uh, Romelu Lukaku for Manchester United, but it was Stormzy. And various things that have happened, they've had different people on uh, who shouldn't have been on, etc. And, yeah, they, some, sometimes, like I said, torn deaf uh, a lot of these big Absolutely. institutions but speaking Absolutely. of big, big institutions um I, I read your linkedin bio and uh you worked in the corporate world you worked as a coach you worked uh with performance transformation of leadership can you take me through your kind of prof professional life so to speak yeah absolutely um i i kind of left left school uh, many centuries ago uh, with uh, no real huge qualifications. I found myself uh, really falling into um, the uh, automotive industry. I got into car sales, really, and um, found my way reasonably quickly as a young man into management um, and then spent a good 20 years in that industry, both in the UK and in North America, where I ran a couple of General Motors franchises um, in Canada. Um, we came back to the UK um, in the late 90s when Jordan, my son, and Daniel, my daughter, were still relatively young, just kind of approaching early teenage years, and uh, found myself in the world of consultancy, predominantly in the automotive industry at that stage, and then moved into leadership and management mm -hmm. training um, within, within that sector. Uh, around about 2008, 2009, with a lot of interest in professional coaching and, and, and went through the coaching academy to get a qualification, I decided to, to leave a, a fairly well-paid director's role and company car and all that came with it within the leadership and management training company I worked for um, and set up my own coaching practice mm -hmm. just as a, another recession hit the UK, maybe not the best of decisions. But someone at that time said, look, I know you're looking for coaching clients for your new business. Have you thought about LinkedIn? Mm -hmm. I had no idea what LinkedIn was. You know, I clearly wasn't even back then in 2009 a millennial. Uh, so I wasn't a real social media user. Um, but I found LinkedIn. I kind of engaged with it, found it a great tool to network with. And the short story is, within 12 months, I founded a consultancy practice called Link to Success. And for the next 11 and a half years, basically went into companies and organizations, uh, coaching and speaking on how to get the most from social media platforms like LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, mm -hmm. um, and Instagram. And, and that was re really my career up until the moment, as you mentioned, when very tragically, my son Jordan took his own life on December the 4th of 2019. Yeah. So that we'll get onto that in a second, because it seems like your life is almost in two halves. As in, you had the pre-Jordan life, uh, pre-2019 life, and then the second part. Um, and again, it's been one hell of a journey. So from the corporate world, working for someone, uh, work, then working for yourself, and then finding a non-profit like Jordan's legacy.